walked back to Corolla River. He had fought Charlie, had fought Cherokee, but them warriors made him quit. Now here's the poem that is the oldest, I guess, in terms of time. And it was published in Dolly Mountain. And I wrote it sometime in my early 20s, maybe when I was about 24. It's been a golden seal when Kenneth Sullivan had it just a month or two ago. And it's called Jed Kane. Actually, the man would have been named Trotter if I'd have been a good historian in those years. But I ran downstairs and asked my dad two or three things, then went back upstairs and wrote down the halls and didn't know any history. I was an English major who didn't know a bad word. So, this man is not Trotter in my poem, but in the world of history, there are two Trotter brothers who carry the nail over the old Stanton Parkersburg Turnpike. The Golly Mail was overdue when Jed, who was to drive it through Chief Mountain Pass to Stanton Run, got special word from Washington in which a postal clerk inquired why Mr. Kane, who had been hired to drive the course at post haste rate, was not in yet those three months late. And now, on the high glazed marble wall of the postal building, Jed Kane's scrawl hangs framed in silver. Respected, sir. Yes, the reason and this be heard. If the gale end blowed out of hell, straight into the drifts of the snow that fell last fall on the ragged horn pointed cheek, it would take till April for brimstone heat to melt a horse fast. So I remain your obedient servant, Jason King. Now, I have another funny one, so I'm going to get now, before I get into some of the serious ones, I'm trying to get you a good humor. <laughs> James Wilson worked in the early salt wells along the Colorado River and had his own salt drill that he was drilling with. One captain, James Wilson, disgusted because his salt well machinery had run without cause for days and days longer and still with success got mad as the devil and cursed the whole mess and stomping his foot down he swore he would drill his salt well down deeper and down deeper still until if he had to to bring up the salt he would dig drill down to Hades old scratches red vault. Next day, all of a sudden, James Wilson struck gas that blew and exploded a wild fiery mass that sent his trail winding and blistered the grass. James Wilson stood there with one thought in his head. Oh, great blazing mercy, I've done what I said. <laughs> This is from a book called Paradox Hill, which was supported in this publication by the West Virginia University Library and West Virginia University Foundation. It's the only book of mine that's now out of print. And I'm reading what's supposed to, by critics, be the best poem in Paradox Hill which I think is my best book. 
There is such sorrow here in these old orchards that had I of the Greek some darker strain, this lady of hills should curve to answer, and I would rant the echo of my pain. Here was the fruited tree land of my fathers, and here the bended bow end of the fall, and here the wine sap bending and the pippin, and here the hardwood growing and the gall. Gone is that time, and gone my orchard country, and all the fields and forest sheds of that plain, and all so lost, so lost, so lost forever, that had I of the Greek some tragic strain here from the sounding well of this old orchard. I wouldn't flick my wrong on all the world, and all the world should answer and dressed in hairy gardens walk the stage and cry the death of kinsmen and of orchards and rage and rage and rage. Now I want just one more little one. How to only which a backtracking hound. If your hound dog runs the backtrack, you can make him switch. Just you follow what I tell you, likely there's a witch somewhere it's just right out the Lord's crown, right on the scroll made of deer skin, when we read it, roll it careful in a roll, bake it in the batch of cornbread, when it's baked and brown, take it hot out to the dog trot, feed it to your hound. Thank you.